You are? Marcy. 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 Welcome. Thank you. For our touch for health one balance. Okay. This is just level one, touch for health one. We're going 14 muscles, fix as you go, and with a little goal statement added to it. We do the goal statements where we're really getting to the subconscious. And then when we test muscles, it's in reference to that heading in context of the goal. That's what we're heading for. Okay. What's going on with you? Oh, God, you know, military, so I got a lot of stuff going oh. on. So I have a little bit of neck issues, okay. little shoulder issues, uh, lower back from getting <laughs> rucksacks on my life, okay. and some knee issues. Okay. Which one do you want to work on? I know mean, that's a lot of physical stuff. Knees. Knees, you Knees, think? Knees, yeah. I have problems going up and down the stairs. Okay. And so. Okay. If you had to rate that pain right now, what would you think it is? Right um, the left is probably a nine. Is it? it? Yeah. Okay. So like this, and like I said, going up the stairs are really hurting. Okay. Uh, the right is about a four. Okay. So left a nine, right a four. Is it range of motion? Yeah, stiff? range of motion and bending. Okay. Yeah. Can you take your shoes off? Sure. All right, so we'll check those numbers again. Yeah. All right. So that's our symptom. We don't want any more. Right. So. We work with goal statements, which is pretty much on the other side of that dam, wherever that symptom is. Mm -hmm. And we just need to ask you one question. What do you want to happen instead? If that knee pain wasn't there, what would you do? I could run. Okay, is that what you want to do? Yes. Okay. Can you run now? Uh, I can hobble. <laughs> <laughs> I can hobble. Now. I can hobble. I can hobble. I don't know what race that is. <laughs> <laughs> Potato sack race or something like that. Can you face me? Yeah. Let's do some little pre checks. Cover your navel. Go right here in your collarbone. Rub your buttons. Kidney 27. Wake up the brain. Go to the sides. Switch hands. Waking those guys up. Yeah. Top and bottom lip. Like that. Everybody do them. <laughs> Central and governing. Switch hands. This is for the yin and yang resort reserves. It's for the brain and spine. And then go to your tailbone. Switch hands. All right. Let's test the muscle. Bring that forward. Hold steady for me. Just like that. Hold. Good. And hold it again. That turns off like you want it to. Hold back up. Good. Make sure this one works. Hold. hold. Yep. Both arms out for me. Just like that. Oh, you are reversed again. <laughs> yep, yours is a little bit reversed. Follow me. This, that center of your palm right there is a pretty powerful point. We're just going to push some chi up to your chin, push it back down. We're flushing that meridian a little bit. Up, we're pushing it back down. Up, one more time. And then let's just go up a few times. Push it up. Bring that energy up to the brain. Some energy going. Good. With arms. Hold it. Good. Hold. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now we're just going to check for hydration a little bit. Hold steady right there. You tug your hair a little bit. And a little squish. Would you like a sip of water? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any water? Yes, I have some water. Can you grab some real quick? Sometimes the little dehydration confuse the system a little bit. You kind of need water. Oh yeah, pan across. Absolutely. <laughs> Got to get the whole story <laughs> in. <laughs> Check that one more time. Just a tug here a little bit. Hold there. A little better. There we go. All right. So our muscles are working now. Let's come back to what we want to happen. You said you got real bright when you said run. I want to be able to run. Okay. Mm -hmm. How? Fast. I want to be able to do the 10 miler. How's your knees yes. feel while you're doing that? My knees feel wonderful. Okay. Put your arms up. So clear that for a moment. We're going to show you what a congruent truth says to your body. All right? Say your name again. Marcy. Say my name is Marcy. My name is Marcy. Hold that. Say, my name is Barbara. Hold my on. name is Barbara. Not a congruent <laughs> truth. My name is Marcy. My name is Marcy. Oh, that's a congruent truth. So the subconscious not really reacting to something that's not true. So let's go back to that goal we talked about. Now, if we said that in a real term, I know that 10K is up in the future, mm -hmm. 
But imagine it's happening now. We say it like an affirmation, like it's now. How would you like to say that? Um, I ran the 10 miles. That's less like an outcome. That's after it. Like you're, standing, <laughs> see, you're standing at the end of the race going, I just ran the 10 miles. I just ran the 10 miles. Yeah. Just like, right. I just ran a 10 miles. <laughs> that is way in the future. Let's see if we can put it. That's like that's almost past tense. We're going forward and talking in the past tense. Uh -huh. And my let's add like a knee thing to the sentence. What if you did that? That we really that's the goal. We're gonna do that. And your knees feel how? At the end of the race. Well, at the end of the race. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just ran ten miler. I just ran a ten miler. Uh, they feel good. Not with a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran 10 miles and my, my knees feel great. I just ran 10 miles and my knees feel great. That's not the truth. <laughs> 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 right, say this right here. Okay. Let's say this. My knees feel great. My knees feel great. Nope. Well, not because it be as simple as that. My knees don't feel great. My knees don't feel great. Um, I run easily. Mm. I run easily. See how some of these can be simple? I yeah. don't run. I don't run. You don't run because you don't hurt, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But that is what you want, mm -hmm. all right? So any of those are good goals. See how the goal unlocked the muscle? And then we said the opposite, that was the current truth. It locked again because yeah. the truth was like, that's not the truth. It's still what we want, so we're stretching the system a little bit. We're kind of stretching the belief system. Going, That's what we want. Look, it's kind of stressful. So we're reading that sort of from the body, and now we're going to do some correction for that, OK? okay. Base up on the thing. Base up on the thing. Go through 14 muscles, and you just keep thinking about that goal. Right? Think about my goal. Yeah. Okay. Just ran 10 miles. Ran 10 miles. My knees feel great. Feel great. Okay. Super tenatus. Hold your arm out right here, straight. I'm going to push in that way. Hold it steady, right? There. That works. Okay. That's super tenatus. Hold right here. Hold. Just like that. Feel the difference on that side? Mm -hmm. Not quite. Can you rub right there, kind of in your armpit, right up in there? And I'm going to go right back here. That's a neural lymphatic point for supraspinatus. Okay. Let's try that. You want your clients to do the front points while you're doing the back points. We're trying to show them some self-responsibility so they know how to do their homework correctly. Hold out like that. Feel the strength there? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's challenge that. Touch that point. And hold it out again. See how it went a little wobbly again? That tells us we need to do a different reflex. So we're going to come up here and really lightly. So some neurovascular blood flow points for that muscle. You just keep thinking about that goal. your forehead can you do that with that hand yeah right over the points that was just at uh -huh. yep. over there good that held good we're good put that down scoot to the edge of the table if you can take your hand and kind of tuck under your lower back and let your elbow fall down so terry's major hold that down i'm going to pull up good let it go scoot over to that side same thing Tuck under and hold that down. Hold it down. It's not working, is it? <laughs> hold oh, it. wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, ready? Okay, go for Hold it. it. Yeah, it's still a little, not like the other side. Mm -hmm. So you just keep back to the center. It's close. There's another button right in there. Can you rub right there? Between the second and third rib. It's a lymphatic spot for Terry's major. Are you applying pressure on the right hand as well, or only the? Only I'm just under here. I'm between the second and third rib sure. on the back. Second and third. 
Yeah, so let's drive that. Can you scoot it back here? Yeah. Tuck it under. And hold it down. Ready? Better? Mm -hmm. Good. I, I can touch that spot right there. Hold it down again. Good, that worked. Let's go back to the center. Those first two are central and governing related. So the central meridian is the conception vessel also. That's the yin reservoir. So all yin meridians downstream benefited from us correcting that channel. And then the second one, Terry Major, relates to the governing. That's also spine. That's all yang meridians. Let's go here. Up. There is this pec clavicular head. I'm going to push that way. You just want to stay right here. Good. Let it go. Not straight up. Just keep thinking about your goal. Turn it down like that. And hold here. Feel different? Mm -hmm. Like that one gives a little bit? Yeah. That's lymphatic just on the left if you're looking in your manual. It's going to be kind of the fifth and sixth rib. We usually where the bra line would be. Can you dig underneath there? And I'll go to the back point. Between the fifth and sixth. Right back in here. Sometimes you can have your client roll on their side or sit up if you don't want to go underneath like this. I've just got fingertip pressure right on those points. Okay, let's try that. Up, oh, right here. That's better. Touch right there. We're just challenging that. Hold that. See how that went wobbly again? Yep, let it go. These actually are the same points I was just on the forehead. So these help with the frontal lobe and the stomach. Same points. They must be potent for you. I got some pulsated on my left. Do you? Back. Got something waking up. Bring that up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And hold it. Just these. Hold that. Good. You see this one compare. Hold it. See how solid that guy is? He immediately wakes up. I'll usually go back and forth. That one's easy. That's a good example. Bring this one up again. Hold it. We'll give it the example. It's more obvious for you, isn't it? That, that one's still not 100%. Mm -hmm. So that one didn't work. Let's, we can try the meridian. This is stomach. There's right here. We're just going to swipe down the line. Something already going through your knees. Right? So we touch the beginning. I like to touch the beginning and the end of the meridian. And then we come up again. <laughs> that worked pretty good. So we challenge it. Hold there. Feels good. Stomach. Next one, the latissimus dorsi. Straighten your elbow and bring it into your hip. And hold in like that. Good. Bad. Straighten that, bring it into your hip. Different. <laughs> that right lat is not doing its job. Feel that? Yep. So the lymph for that is actually over the organ, just on the left hand side between the seventh and eighth. Can you work in there? You're going to probably find a little tender spot. And I'll go right back, one on the back. Release the spleen. <laughs> try that. Turn it in. Hold it. That's a lot better. Can you cover that with that, that hand, the other one? Yeah. Turn it in and hold it. Good. Look at how strong. Compare it. Make sure. Hold that one out. See how easy that one straightens? Mm -hmm. Do it again. How like it didn't waste time. Mm -hmm. This is when we start to see the recruitment. Turn this one in. And like your bicep still wants to do some of the job for the lat. That's why it bends it naturally. Mm -hmm. and you have to think about it and mm -hmm. straighten. See if you can straighten it. See, it's hard to do because it will still wants to use the bicep. Okay. All right, so the lymph did something, but not 100%. So we go to the blood flow next, the neurovascular point. Mm -hmm. That's above and behind the ear, about right there. 
light pressure. And just keep thinking about your goal. Winning a race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to win. <laughs> just run into him. Just run it. it he's, he's feeling good. He's feeling great. Pulls there. Try that. Turn it in. Hold it tight. Good. Touch that guy one more time. Hold it. He turns it off. Let's go to the spleen channel. Spleen goes from your big toe right through the knee, <laughs> right up to about the armpit. Comes up there. Try that. Turn it in. Hold. Good. One more. Okay. That one still shakes a little bit, doesn't it? A tiny bit. Origin insertion. So we're just rubbing the origin of the lat that's the where it connects the, over the ilium back there in the lumbar area and then right on the front of the shoulder the tendon okay. yeah that one was it i held that right there look how easily that straightened as soon as i did that hold it in and the compensation begins to give up because it doesn't have to the lat starting to work better yeah <laughs> okay here let your wrist fall down this is subscapularis Hold your wrist to the floor. That worked. Okay. Hold your wrist down. Good. It's work. Next one. See, it's easy when muscles work. We can move forward. Quadriceps. Bring your knee up. Bend it. You should be able to see your toe over top of your knee a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Hold your knee toward your head that way. Mm, not again. That's quadriceps. Okay. That was the painful side, wasn't it? We started with it. Yeah. Try that one. Pull towards your head. Hey, that one works. Isn't it? There. Can you hold your foot straight up? That portion works. Hold the whole thing up now. Good. Okay. We actually do quadriceps in three different movements like that. But this one, right at the bat, hip flexor did not do its job. So that's a funny one in the book. You see the lymphatics for that all across the rib margin, where the diaphragm will be connected right behind it. Really, it's where the abdominals attach, all along here. So this one, since we're talking about knees, we really want the quadriceps to be working pretty good. Okay, can you sit up? That way we can both do some work at the same time. Okay. I want you to spin your legs off the side with this. Show you this guy in the book. I want you to work. It's not small. <laughs> it's just pretty much along the ribs where your abs attach. I got you. They're in there. They're covered. They're covered a little bit. So try to get to the bone a little bit to see. Like we were between the ribs right there, you might find some key areas which might be key for that guy. While you're there, okay. you see the portion on the back, there's like four areas, right? At the mid thoracic, lower thoracic area. You okay? Uh -huh. Is that tender in the front? Uh, How's it back here? It's okay. Sure. Okay, I'm making this stuff enough. I'll do the other side since we're here. Let's try that. Bye -bye. Okay. All right. More lymph flow. Yeah. Bring that up again. Hold toward your head. Something happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel pain. Oh. You still feel pain. It's a little better. That's better. Uh, cover the rib where you just were right there. Okay. Bend it up again. And see how smooth that came up? Mm -hmm. Homework. Hold that right there. Now, when it got easier and we touched the button, it came up pretty quick, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let me get to I'll show you. Probably easier when you're laying on your back anyway. Feel that? I'm not using that much pressure, but mm -hmm. it probably feels different on that side, doesn't it? This one was working a little better. Mm -hmm. Does that feel tender on that side? Mm -mm. This side? A little. Yep. Right there. These lymph areas, when they get clogged, it's like... So it's tender. not important to do a clockwise rotation? No. 
Okay. Now we're just stimulating these channels okay. to. Okay. Yeah, this is a polarity. Are you, are you going all the way to the side of the ribs mm -hmm. or just here? Yep. All the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> and now bend it and hold toward your head. I can't push it. That's more than two pounds. <laughs> hold your foot straight up. How's that feel? Okay. Pretty good. Hold the whole leg up. Okay. Go with that. Now we're going to challenge it. Cover that guy one more time and bend it and hold it. Hold it. Okay, good. So it looks like just some lymph. That would be homework for them. Mm -hmm. for those guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put your hands down. Does work better? Now, peroneous bladder related ankles. Flex your foot way up and out like that. Feel that right there and hold right here. Good. Let it go. Do that one way up and out like that. Hold it. Good. Let it go. It's the peroneus. What were you doing on the. Um, the I was just stabilizing right here. I'm oh, pushing. Stabilizing. Only I'm stabilizing. Pushing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So as you're going to go out like this, knee straight, and come up in the air like you're kicking up at the ceiling. Come straight up and hold it straight up. Okay. Does work? So as. Right up in the air. Hold that one up. There you go. That was not working. <laughs> <laughs> your belly button. We're going to go out an inch up. Rub right in there. Can you do that? So that one's a funny one. It's usually, it feels like a stuck little area of the fascia right over. And I'm right next to about T12. T12 L1 area. So the kidney channel, so as. Famous so ass. Mm -hmm. All right, come up near. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> you were already in the spot. You have cover right there. Just cover it. Hold it up. Good. That was easy. It worked good. There we go. Glute medius. Keep your, knee, your toe up. Come out to the side. Hold out to the side. Good. Let's go. This one. Out like that and hold. And that one's not working. The glute medius over here. That one works good. Glute medius here. This one is on the pubic symphysis. So if women, if you had a hysterectomy or C-section scar or something like that, that can affect this area because it's right above it. Oh, yeah, um, I have one of those. Have you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Touch the scar. <laughs> we're, we're not even on the reflex, but so it was on this side. So it was scar come over it here. Was it was cut like mm -hmm. come over here and touch because this is our weaker area on this side sometimes that's it hold out to the side not quite go right below it down to the pubic bone but it will sometimes affect the drainage through the area still yeah just right on the bone like that and hold it out there it is <laughs> it's more where they attach right below it mm -hmm. When they do that, they cut through their abdominal muscles, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And mm -hmm. we talked about that, that the fibers can't yeah. reconnect like that. They're just not going to contract the same way in that yeah. area. Yeah. So our little bucket brigade from, from the lymphatic system is not going to move it through that area. Yeah. We don't have channels that work. That's why we get congestion after mastectomies and it stuff like sense. that, because we've got blockages in the channels. Mm -hmm. um, that and that's also a joint right there. If you've got SI joint problems, it's going to reflect right there too. That should be in. A good alignment, right? Okay. All right, so you're gonna get right to the bone, upper edge of it, and kind of work that button, find the tender spot. I'm going right next to L5, same spot in the back. Yeah, L5. Next, right next to L5. Yeah. yeah. Glute medius. Let's try that. Out to the side, straight up. That worked good. Touch that button in the front. Hold out the side. Cool. That's all I needed. All right. How do you feel? Good. Good. So glute okay, medius. Stronger every time. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hold your wrist back. This is Terry's minor. Hold back like that. Good. That works. Triple warmer. Or thyroid. Hold back like that. Good. How are you? I'm, I'm slapping her across like that. Okay. Yeah. Deltoid, we did this earlier as our indicator muscle. Hold, hold straight in the air right there. Now it's relating, yeah, that's right there, the wobbly. Now it's relating to our gallbladder because we're in the, in the circuit now. Hold straight right there. That one looks good. 
It's a gallbladder. This guy. Nope. <laughs> But we need to work those buttons, like when we were standing up, if you had those squishy muscles, it's the same one, but it's gonna be on this side. And you find your sternum, and then you're gonna go kind of between the ribs, right around that area. Do that. You can show her? Yeah. <laughs> the little guy right there. See. Yep. So there's two, uh, two, two spots. You should have your glasses on, yeah. <laughs> well, that's our next session. <laughs> for, for your eyes <laughs> um, same area in the back. Mm gallbladder we we're not testing the muscle yet in this level but popliteus is also related to gallbladder and that's right behind your knee they kind of need to be strong if you want to help help these help mm -hmm. but you're all helping yeah. it with the same some of these same circles mm -hmm. all right hold right there much better touch right there Tilt. all right like this next one straight up turn down pec sternal head I'm gonna pull out this way, you hold right there. Good, let it go. Straight up. Hold it again. Hold it again. Does that feel the same? Let me see this guy. Hold that one. See there's no wobbling? <laughs> this one? A little bit. That's, that's an indicator. It's just not 100%. It could be better. I feel like every other side. <laughs> as you move up me, every the other side is right. off. It's wobbling. It's, it's wobbling back Everything is off. So this is the limp. On the liver is just on the right hand side. Remember, we did the stomach over here. Mm -hmm. Same kind of spots, but it's all along up in there. So find the spot between the fifth and sixth ribs. That's a similar spot for gallbladder that we were just on. Okay. If uh, women, if you wear like hard underwires, like yeah. metal or anything, that that press is kind of tough right there. On those areas that you probably want better circulation, you know, mm -hmm. think about. Yeah. Just having something that's constant compression on an area that we kind of want circulation to be happening. Yeah. It might not work but so. I need some arms. I know. Yeah. And we're like, well, we got, we got to think of a different sports bra industry. Work on this. Between the fifth and sixth, the right behind that. Fifth and sixth. But you can see in the manual, it's mainly just on oh. the right hand side mm -hmm. where the liver is. Yeah. That's kind of like the anger knot, I used to call it, because oh. if you're not processing like that main knot? emotion, yeah, you would get that little knot back there a lot. And it's like, that oh, how interesting. It. When people have gallbladder attacks, it's the phrenic nerve that's also associated to it. So the similar area in upper trap will actually get a nerve referral. Same area. Just happens to be a <laughs> lymphatic spot. <laughs> All right, let's test both of them. Here, hold. Like that good let's go yeah. much better touch right there with that hand yeah good okay that worked all right this guy reach towards the ceiling a little bit and then hold that way good that's your serratus interior hold that way <laughs> that's work good last one five shell out of Come over here, rotate in as much as you can, bring your leg up in the air, bring it way up, way up, and hold up and out, up and out. <coughs> See, we really isolate that guy, he's like right there. Twist that one in, bring it way up in there. Hold up and out. That one works really good, like it's supposed to. That's pretty much the lymphatic all along the IT band, which is like the tendon attachment for the fascia lot. Mm -hmm. And this is a mirror of the lower intestine, the colon. Yours doesn't feel that bad. Is it tender? Sometimes we feel little nodules, like like the lymph kind of clog through here. Doesn't feel that bad. Though. So just the whole IT band, and then if you look in the manual, there's that big triangle, really the whole low back area that we might find some areas too, for the lower intestine. Twist it in, bring it way up, hold it up and out. That worked good. Mm -hmm. Touch your thigh on the side. Same thing, hold it up and out. How'd that feel? Okay. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Stand up, see how you feel. That was 14 muscles. Strength of the bunch of stuff. All right, I'm running my marathon. <laughs> <laughs> 
to get your bearings. It doesn't look like a lot's going on, but the person's receiving it. We're moving chi and blood and lymph. Definitely. Whoa, I just had a lot more information <laughs> going through my body than I expected. So let's go to that goal statement. I actually how your knees feel right now. Had a four or five and a nine on the left. You keep leaning on the left. I see you doing. Yeah. Trying to it's find. It's probably about a five, four. It's about a four. Four. So. Yeah, the, 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 the right one is feeling a lot better. Okay, good. Yeah. So I see that, improvement. That less than half of what it was, mm -hmm. right? Just from. We, there's a lot of more muscles that we aren't learning this level that I could have mm -hmm. probably worked on and mm -hmm. got a difference. I believe if you work that lymph, especially along the rib margin right mm -hmm. there for the quadriceps, mm -hmm. and pay attention to the IT band, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and really glute medius on both sides, just mm -hmm. keeping those guys firing, mm -hmm. it'll really do wonders for you. The alignment of the knee, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And keeping yeah. the quadriceps strong for the patella mm -hmm. will probably address a lot more. Mm -hmm. Again, we talked earlier, in the moment, now you got the information. Our 24 hour circadian cycle, we still give honor to the, we give your body the information within 24 hours, it's getting the information to all the organs naturally. So you might have another shift by tomorrow morning again. Mm -hmm. That's what you like. Mm -hmm. Let's check the goal again. Okay. I ran, ten, I ran 10 miles on my knees. I ran 10 miles on my knees, feel great. Well, that, so we don't have the same reaction so something shifted in the subconscious where it's not, it must believe it to somewhat to a different mm -hmm. degree, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs>